was wondering if you could help me with my car. What seems to be going on? It's not starting, but it tries to start when I turn the ignition key. How long has this been going on? What kind of engine do you have? Is it a gas engine or a diesel? Uh, I know I have a gas engine, but I really don't know anything about engines, so can you please explain? Sure. An engine can have four, six, or eight cylinders that are arranged side by side in your engine. The cylinders house the parts that contributes to a four-stroke engine, which is typical in motor vehicles, which is what you probably have. I'll show you a video that will show you each one. Okay. So, first this shows you all the different parts inside of the cylinder that contributes to the function. There are many parts involved. So, the intake stroke is the first one. This is where the intake valve opens to allow the air-fuel mixture in the intake camshaft. The piston sucks the fuel-air mixture from the carburetor or injector into the cylinder. The compression stroke. Both the valves remain closed and allow the piston to compress the air-fuel mixture inside the engine in the cylinder. As the piston compresses the mixture, the ignition system routes the current from the coil to each spark plug in a particular order to produce a spark. And this is the spark plug. The expansion or power stroke. The spark from the spark plug burns the fuel mixture. The following explosion forces the piston to the bottom. Now we have the exhaust stroke. During the exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve opens using the cam arrangement, allowing the exhaust gases to escape out of the exhaust cylinder. Okay, so how does the whole engine work during the four-stroke cycle? Well, I have a diagram that I would like to show you. This is a diagram that represents all the components of a typical gasoline-powered motor vehicle. There are several important parts to the engine, but we will just focus on those that contribute to the four-stroke cycle. The cylinder houses the units that contribute to the cycle, as we talked about before. The piston movement happens inside the cylinder and thus is part of the cycle to create the spark to the spark plug. We will go over the parts now. This is the crankshaft. This consists of a series of cranks, which convert the straight line motion of the piston connecting rod assembly into a continuous circular motion. And this is where the work is translated into motion by your transmission. Then we have your connecting rod. This is powered by the gas explosion. It transmits the thrust from the piston to the crankshaft. This is your piston. It is a metal moving part in the cylinder attached to the connecting rod. It compresses the air-fuel mixture, then receives the thrust from the burned gases. And then we have your valves. You have an inlet valve and you have an exhaust valve. The inlet valve opens to let the air-fuel mixture into the cylinder. The exhaust valve opens to allow the burned gases to escape. There also is a valve spring that brings the valve back into the closed position. Then you have your intake camshaft and your exhaust camshaft. And importantly, your spark plug, which is an electric device whose two electrodes produce the spark necessary to ignite the air-fuel mixture in the cylinder. And then finally we have your water jacket on the edges. This is what holds your coolant. Well geez, that's a whole lot of new useful information. 
all I was informed about last time I had my car in the shop was about a spark plug, how one of these work. And it was an insulated plug that is screwed into an internal combustion engine cylinder head to deliver the spark that ignites the mixture of air and fuel in the combustion chamber, as you said. But the spark plug also works as a heat exchanger by pulling unwanted thermal energy from the combustion chamber and transferring heat to the engine's cooling system. That's right. So you have seen a spark plug before. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Now I understand how my car works. Now, can you please fix it for me? Well, my mechanics informed me that they took a look at your car. There's nothing wrong with your car, except that you're out of gas. Oops. 